Daddy was a big man. He looked so pitiful lying there in the bed. And he was blue. I swear to God, he was blue. I'd never seen anybody die before. I didn't have any idea what to expect. I would not cry. I told myself I would not cry. This was another test in my manhood, to be a man in daddy's eyes. I knew he was going to die. They gave me a little bag with all his belongings in it. His watch was in there. And there was a letter. I had written it. It was a short letter, about one page typewritten. And I had told him that I would have to think twice about inviting him to my house again if he couldn't quit drinking. I'd come down hard on him and assigned it Lewis. I didn't say love or nothing. I just said Lewis. I just signed my damn name. Like I was some kind of real hard ass or something. I don't know why he carried it. I mean, maybe it's to remind himself to straighten out. Maybe it's to remind himself that his only son was turning on him. But I can never forget that he died without knowing how much I loved him. And I just can't talk about that without crying. His last breath came. We all saw it. We all heard it. I wanted something else beside the silence. I wanted trumpets. I wanted trumpets, damn it. I wanted his death to mean more than the death of another man. This was it. He would die here in this room, in this town, with his son and three friends to watch him go. I wanted more than the silence, but that's all there was. He breathed, and then he didn't breathe anymore. And a doctor came in and a nurse came in and pulled a sheet over his head. And a man said a prayer, and that was all. Death is a sneaking son of a bitch. It makes not a sound.